time. Well, the lights were with us. I'm sorry to pull you away from holidays. No, no problem. We got somebody to cover for us. Listen, are you okay? Yeah, I'm hanging in. Well, I mean, your message kind of sounded urgent. Well, so. Adam asked that everybody come here ASAP. <laughs> the Adam doesn't do requests. He commands. So what's on the agenda? Oh, uh, your guess is as good as mine. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. Hi, I wonder how many people he's expecting. Oh. Hi, am I the last to arrive? Thank you. I don't know. We're not privy to the guest list. Isaac, does this party have a theme? I think uh, we're all in the trans global case. Well, we need Brooke and Edmund here to make it a quorum. I couldn't reach Edmund, and Brooke had to beg off for personal reasons. Oh, yeah, Uncle Trevor filled us in. So I hope we haven't kept you waiting. Belinda. Adam. Thank you, thank you, Hi. sweetheart. Hi. No. Mateo, thank you for coming at such short notice. Would you like some coffee? Uh, coffee we can do at holidays. Uh, what's going on? Uh, why don't you sit down? Make yourselves comfortable. Please. Okay. Adam, I assume that this has something to do with Coraview's malfeasance as it relates to the crash of 149? <clears throat> yeah, and Liza's commuter flight from hell. Yes, uh, you assume correctly. Good, because we're ready to nail Miles Christopher for what he's done to your family and what he's done to mine. Senseless tragedies. My first reaction, frankly, was to run away. I wanted Liza to go with me on a world cruise, first-class accommodations, which would have made me a first-class fraud. Running away is pointless. The people we've lost will never know peace, nor will we, until we put a human face on our suffering and thus begin the healing process. That's why I've asked you here tonight. Christopher's presence makes my client uncomfortable at best. I'm telling you right now, I have nothing to say to him. Any contact should really be confined to the courtroom. It's my hope we can settle this out of court. I don't negotiate with baby killers. You're not giving this a chance, Mateo. A chance for what? To let Corvey off the hook? Why can't you just listen to what Mr. Christopher has to say? I will. He'll have his day in court. What is it you want? I want justice for my sister. I want safe skies, nice, happy, smooth landings yes. for everyone. That's what we all want. I think we can accomplish that. And if we can ease the suffering, which I think is possible, why not listen? Marathon talks will accomplish nothing but easing his guilty conscience. We're ready to take this all the way to the Supreme Court if we have to. You are going to be collecting Medicare before you see one red cent from that settlement. This is not about money. No, it's not about money. It's about the quality of life. Your lives, Rose's, your mother's, Madeline's. Major corporations have the wherewithal to carry on litigation for years and years. The wheels of justice grind very slowly, Matteo. And who gets ground up in the process? I'll be damned if I sit here and drink your coffee while this guy pays lip service to orphan kids and lost lives. I'm not going to do it. Mateo, before you dismiss Adam, maybe, maybe you should try to see what he's trying to solve here. I lost a child, but you lost your sister. Nothing's going to bring her back. Maybe M Mr. Christopher can offer us something to make peace with our losses. You don't believe that, do you? Oh, I believe something. I've tried praying. I, I've tried pinning this emptiness on the bad guys and this anger. But what if there aren't any bad guys? What if they're just human beings and they, and they make mistakes and they pay for those mistakes in their own hell day after day? Speaking from a legal standpoint, I really believe... Please, 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 just let's... Can we just forget the law for just a moment, Belinda? And remember who we are here. We're people. 
We are people who have suffered incredible losses. Why carve ourselves up inside a courtroom, sustain years of legal maneuvering when we, we can solve our differences with humanity and compassion? Please. If you just hear what I have to say, hopefully I can leave you all in peace. If I could go back and do things differently, don't you think that I would? I want to sleep at night. I want each of you to live your lives as you were meant to. But I can't change anything that has happened. I don't have that power. Mrs. Chandler, you and your husband were blessed with a life that you'll never know. You were meant to share the joys of parenthood. And Transglobal has robbed you of that joy. And by extension, so have I. No dollar amount could ever compensate for your tragic loss. But besides my most sincere regrets and a public apology, monetary compensation is all that I have to offer. You think you can buy us off? Think again. Mr. Santos, I know that the settlement which I wish to propose amounts to little more than a band-aid on wounds which will never heal completely, but I truly, I truly believe that some good can be salvaged from these tragedies. A scholarship. Endowed by core view in memory of Mr. and Mrs. Chandler's child. State-of-the-art equipment for the hospital to which Maria Santos dedicated her talents. In memoriam. That's it. Despite whatever antagonisms you may feel toward Mr. Christopher, I think his coming here today, his facing his accusers, admitting his liability, takes a lot more guts than most of us have. So, Mr. Christopher and I will retire to my study and leave you to decide. Detente or all-out war? Why else? Well, what do you think? I think the whole thing reeks. So this is what it feels like? What? Judgment day. Oh, Miles, get a grip. This is an end run. If they accept this offer, case closed. No more questions. Future secured. But this must be hell for you, Adam. Having to go out there and face your family, your wife, your daughter, your son-in-law. Knowing that core views your best kept secret. My sole concern is to get this matter settled and put it behind us. Damn it. The money. I'll underwrite anything. As long as we can put this nightmare behind us. As far as core views liability is concerned, the buck stops with me, Adam. I'll match you dollar for dollar. Why hold yourself accountable? Transglobal's operations come under my purview. All out-of-pocket expenses will be covered by our assets and our insurance. I've never regretted keeping you on as CEO of Corview, Miles. You've handled this crisis with incredible aplomb and managed diplomatically to keep my name out of it. Don't think I'm not grateful. Well, 
Time to go out and uh, see which way the wind is blowing. Belinda, you know my husband. He's not a forgiving man, but if he can find it within him to accept Miles's proposal and, and let us get on with our lives... Yes, yes, Liza, I know. We all need to move on. But at a pace determined by us, not a conglomerate that's itching to settle quickly and quietly. Miles seemed very sincere. Yes, he did. But I guess that's why he gets big bucks. <laughs> what would be in this for Adam? I mean, if Transglobal had its foot in the door and was pressuring him by, by, with sales or something, then, then the bells would be ringing. But this is Adam, take no prisoners, Chandler. And if, and if he can find it in his heart to compromise, maybe, maybe we should trust his instincts. Thank you. Your trust is well placed. We must put the past where it belongs behind us so we can move forward. I want this to be over. So that when the time is right, you and I can focus on the son or daughter waiting to be born to us. Excuse me? Where's Mateo? He, um, phoned Edmund to get his take on Miles' generous offer. Oh, I hope you can, uh, convince him to do the right thing. Mateo is capable of forming his own conclusions. Oh, I know, I know, no doubt. He, I, um, I've always admired his independent spirit. He holds his beliefs with great passion. But? But. Passion is fine in its place. But cooler heads have to prevail if we're going to achieve compromise. And while I'm not so sure compromise is in Mateo's vocabulary. Then you must help him see that there is some middle ground between all or nothing. Mateo can spend the next ten years of his life lobbing pebbles at corporate giants. Or he can make Maria's death mean something. I'll talk to him. But ultimately, it's his call. It was his sister that went over that cliff. Right. How we deal with adversity defines us. Liza and I want to get past this tragedy and go on with our lives. And I want the same for you and Mateo. last stand, huh? He wants me to make you see the light. I can see just fine. What did Edmund say? He gives me his blessing and his proxy. Well, you've all had a chance to consider Miles' proposal. Have you reached a meeting of the minds? I think you should give us five minutes to caucus and then bring Miles in. We'll give him our decision. Have they reached a consensus? Not yet. Five more minutes. Any idea how it might go? My son-in-law is the stumbling block. Yes, he's quite a tenacious young man, isn't he? That helio may give you the light. There's no point in holding on to the past. Unless that's all you have to hold on to. What about your wife? She feels as I do. And those not present? Well, Brooke is, uh, is busy putting out fires. Laura lit with some revealing photos. Edmund is, is, is totally consumed with his child custody problems. And that leaves Jim Thomason. He's a wild card. I have no idea who the man is. Well, it seems as if he and Miss English are quite close. I wouldn't know. Brooke and I have lost touch. If Matteo and the others sue Transglobal, Corview's records will be subpoenaed and gone over with a fine-tooth comb, and the paper trail will lead inevitably to me. And as its owner, if and when a judgment is settled against Corview, you will be responsible. It could mean financial ruin. I don't care. 
care about money. This has never been about dollars and cents. No. You'd lose what you value most, wouldn't you, Adam? Those people out there. Liza, Haley, your family. Those people that you love the most. reached a consensus? We have. Well, let's have it. You were right about one thing, Mr. Christopher. No amount of money can compensate for my sister's suffering. A hospital wing is no substitute for mother's love. A scholarship to commemorate a life that never breathed life. Now, you see, we won't forget the ones we've lost. We're gonna grieve together. We're gonna show pictures, we'll tell the stories. My sister and Liza's baby will live through us, not you. Remembering is our job, okay? Now, for all those people we don't know, the millions who fly every day, the ones that trust you with their lives, well, we owe it to them to fight. So, we're gonna make you pay, so they don't have to. We'll see you in court. Now you're disappointed. That doesn't begin to describe it. Adam, compromise seemed like a very good idea, but there were extenuating circumstances. Well, who'd have thought that you'd be the bearer of such compromise? Hmm. You know, your heart was in the right place, but this isn't about money. We don't... We don't want to fund scholarships or build memorials. No, we want to save lives. And in order to do that, we have to have mistakes admitted and the guilty punished. But at least you tried. No. Bye. 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 Well, what do they say? Uh, you can't win them all. They also say if you can't lick them, join them. Don't forget, we're on your side. <sighs> Mr. Christopher, I know you did what you thought was right. And I have to admire you for that. But I also have to warn you, you are in for the fight of your life. Transglobal will be grounded and Corview will have hell to pay. Good night. You gave it your best shot. Well, not good enough, was it? <laughs> Miss Chandler? Adam Miles was right. I mean, you did your best. Tonight was really important to you, wasn't it? everything I hold dear. Bye-bye.